Hey there, hi there, hello there, Nick here. This is going to be a little bit of a different video. Um, currently, as you can see, I'm getting on to the uh, ferry. Um, this is the Edmonds to Kingston ferry. Uh, it's nighttime and we're headed out on a little vacation. And I wanted to take you along with me and show you the sights that I saw and uh, kind of give you guys an update. We are on our way to Discovery Bay. Discovery Bay is a small little town that's located between Squim and Port Townsend. We're headed up there for four days total. We left on a Friday night, as you can see. It was actually a fairly calm night, clear. We're about to be docking soon, and then we will be off to the races. Honestly, sitting on the ferry may have been one of the worst parts of the whole trip and it was just due to the anticipation i was excited to be getting out it had been a long time feels like covid has really made me homebound and kind of scared to get out not that i'm really worried about getting sick per se but i don't know the world just feels different people are different but i'm gonna brave it anyways because i need this this trip was also in celebration of Audrey's birthday. While we didn't have a lot of plans, relaxation was definitely prime on the itinerary list. It was here we wanted to definitely recoup, although I didn't necessarily get to fully do that. I'll show you some of my walk at the end. I'm still kind of hurting from this trip, but it was a good hurt. We stayed at Discovery Bay World Mark Hotel, or resort I guess. And it had an amazing view, boasting some of the bravest seagulls able to snatch sausages right off of the open grills, and then mocking you after its ill-gotten gains. I also spent a decent amount of time testing the new phone that I had gotten. It seems to be able to take amazing pictures. Just check out this deer, you can see its tongue licking itself as it cleans itself in the morning dew. We stopped into many of the state parks. In Fort Warden, there was this one tree, and I have to say, it inspired me. Even though the wind beat this tree and it stood alone, this tree stood, twisted and bent, but it stood and is still standing, growing, thriving. We did a Google lottery and searched for fish and chips and found maybe the best fish and chips in the state. I will say that the crab cakes were amazing and the fries were on another level. I wish I had taken some pictures of the food, but to be honest with you, it was just too good. Shout out to CJ's Cafe. Discovery Bay Cannabis is maybe the cutest thing ever. It's in a train car. We stopped in here to get Audrey some of her medicine. I tried really hard to just take in the sights and scenes, not try and have too much of an agenda. Let the world dictate maybe a little bit of what was going to happen. I feel like that paid off. There was a lot of joy on this trip. We really did have fun just enjoying each other's company. Next I'm going to show you my walk. I want you to just take in the sights and sounds like I did.
What looks like low-hanging clouds is actually a dense bank of fog. From the distance, it just looks like the clouds have come down to touch the hills. But here, as you see me drive through it, and what feels like too fast of a matter because it is sped up, you can see that we go from no fog to just dense banks of fog. I was driving under the speed limit because this is scary. The night just seemed to eat my headlights. They felt like they illuminated nothing. Never have I been happier to get back to a hotel as I was this night. The new day brought with it the crashing realization that the trip was coming to an end. It was a sobering realization. It really set in tone just how wonderful this trip really had been. We stopped in at the Hudson Point Cafe and had the most amazing waffles. I did not know that waffles could be just that amazing. I dream of going back and having more. We did some things without recording them, such as soak on the sound, a private saltwater hot bath with Japanese styling. It made our skin so soft. Asian buffet, a small but tasty buffet we had Audrey's birthday dinner at in Port Angeles. Goodwill in Port Angeles, Squim, and Port Townsend. Audrey found some cute summer dresses with pockets in Port Angeles, and I found two tripods in Squim. One from the 60s, all steel, heavy duty, but extremely solidly built like a tank, and an all aluminum one from the 90s, still with its original box. As we board onto the ferry, I am extremely grateful to Audrey's father and stepmother who invited us on this trip. I have really felt burnt out and this really helped to recharge my want to be greater than I am. So if you were watching this, I just wanted to say thank you so much for having us along. As we duck into our bay, I am reminded that I am headed back to normal civilization and I am getting off of peninsula time. All of my responsibilities that I need to do as I'm sitting here, start to come to me. My next few videos are going to be techno babble heavy as I rebuild the server computer onto the AM5 platform and do some deep cleaning on my current gaming rig. It's been over three years since I cleaned out the gunk from inside my computer, so it'll be interesting to see how dirty it is. Following that, I have a new power supply that's been waiting to be installed into Audrey's gaming rig, and we'll be doing a cleaning of hers as well. However, I suspect it won't be that bad as I cleaned it less than a year ago. I plan on exploring more of the Washington parks and have started looking at a gimbal for my phone so I can take better walking videos. We didn't use much of the footage we shot on this trip due to forgetting to enable super study on the phones. We did order a mount for our new phones that attaches to the tripods we found. If you happen to have any suggestions about gimbals, please comment below. While you're at it, please like the video and subscribe. All passengers must disembark the vessel upon arrival. Thank you for sailing aboard the Washington State Ferries. We look forward to seeing you again soon. After being thanked for being a good passenger, I am done with my boat trip. I just wanted to thank you guys for coming along. And until next time, buddies, please enjoy the time lapse after.